And I thank God by this boy. He was, can you come, my boy? This boy. He sent me a message that he has learned a lot. This boy. You know, I know many things, but I could not tell him. I know when I'm looking at you, I know, oh, there's this. But this one, I just pray for him here. So God, please open his eyes. One day here. I said, ah, there are people. Come, this boy, let me pray for this boy also. Can you come? Come. Don't listen to what people are saying concerning this issue of relationship. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because it's hurting your heart. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, it's true. And, and you have never done anything. Yes. But people are talking many, many stories. Yes. Eh? Yes, sir. Eh? They are talking a lot of stories which I don't even know about. They say you slept with someone. Yes. Come here. Go. As I pray for you, and this thing is hurting your spirit. It's hurting your spirit. You are free. And this boy. The, the way they are talking is no good. And can you see Christians talking? Yes. Huh? Yes, Daddy. You Christian, you don't know what you want. Just. Who are saying you have done one, two, three? And I'm sure you never thought I know about that. Yes, Pam. Huh? Yes, Pam. Yes. You never thought I know. Sometimes I just have to keep quiet like I don't know anything. And I let go to work. From there, I told him, I said, hey, you, people here, I was trying to cancel the spirit that is rising up. They say you are doing one, two, three. So, you remember the demon that was speaking of boo? You remember? Move pride. They must remove yes, pride. Because when you prophesy them, telling them that you are going to prophesy, leave me, let me show this man. Uh, you say what? Leave me, leave me. I want to show this man. Leave me, leave me. When you tell them that you, you are going to prophesy, you'll see them changing, changing, changing. The way they move. After that, show me how they move. When you see them, they don't. They don't greet people. They don't they greet are, people. Yes, they think <laughs> prophecy is this, and they don't know nothing. You so, make a mistake by raising those ones, but anyway, we came. We came. Because How did you do that? Show me. Uh. So he said he has learned from that demon. Can you tell people what you have learned? I think, give him mic. I think many people here, you will help many now after you found the truth. Uh, yes, just, just speak. Well, I've learned that. Uh after that demon spoke, I've learned that uh, many of us, uh, if we are not connected to the commission of this, I mean, to the vision of this commission, we'll find ourselves falling under the same trap uh, of loving money and also sleeping around. That's the few I can see. You heard that? And then, what is it that you have learned? Because we're hearing about the third eye also. Were you aware of that? No, I was not aware. You were not aware. Yes. You, you learn. You also heard about that. Yes. It gave you a lesson. It gave me a lesson, Papa. So you were telling me about submission. Can you tell me about that? Come again, Papa. You were talking about submission. Sub. Yes. Yes. I've learned that I've not been submitting, but I was leaning on my own strength. You can hear that. So what is it that you want to advise other people? What I can advise them is that they must. So learn to submit and not to be the second bull in the crowd. And uh, can you tell them what makes you to find yourself doing that? Maybe they will also learn. Okay. What I've realized that I've regarded sin in my heart, that is the reason why I found myself doing certain things which I was supposed not to be doing. Yes. So, you heard that. In fact, I just wanted to say, it becomes better when you realize for yourself. Because you see here, we preach the truth. 
don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. Okay? Can you see when now you are prophesying, but you've got a girlfriend there, and another one is there. So we question, is it Holy Spirit? If now you are, you are prophesying, your name is Wong Hong. You are coming from where, where, where? But your girlfriend is there. Your girlfriend is there. And you are proposing that one. And there's another one on your phone here. You are speaking with ladies. And on the other side, you are encouraging people that they must not listen to us. You are, you are talking many things. On behind our back, you are going everywhere. You are doing one-on-one. -on -one. You took money from people. Another one like that. You are just getting money. And here you think God is, is a small boy. Remember, the first thing that God will judge you, will judge you that you came to church, you found us. That's the first judgment. Is you came to church, you found these people. How come today you call them blind? All along here, the church is full. Now, how do you get the guards of saying, these leaders of the church, they are blind, whereas you found us? It means you have got a wrong spirit. The spirit that makes you to sleep with that one, to propose that one, to take money from that one, is the same one now that is using you to stand against the vision of the church. I'm just saying this because of him. He told me that, no, now I'm seeing that. And I was not submitting. I was dreaming. Can you tell us some things that you were doing by yourself? Maybe others will learn. I'll bring others who want to do the same, who want to confess. I want to pray for them. I believe I'm the one who took you when you were very young. Yes, ma'am. And then uh, also he, he, he came to church. He was still 16 years, I'm sure. Yes. When he came here. Yes. Can you just tell us? Uh, well, I can say it's what was in me it was pride. Pride was starting to arouse in me. And I've realized that the more I, I sin, as I call it a sin, the more I sin, that's the more the Holy Spirit departs away from me and the vision of this commission starts to become more blurry, meaning I won't submit. The first thing you want to see, you'll find that you can't pray. That's true. Eh? Yes. If you want to see, you find you can't, you're a Christian, but you can't pray. You can't study the word of God. Yes. I'm talking about uh, simple things that Christians have to do. Prayer is part of you. The word of God is part of you. You find that this thing becomes difficult now. Yes. Is what was happening to you. Yes. So I believe uh, it's over. I just believe it's Thank over you. for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And let me stretch my hand to you and pray for you. <laughs> Jesus, mighty name. I touch your head. You, leave spirit. Leave him. There's a spirit in him. Can you put a mic in him there? This, I want to hear what the spirit says. Maybe you will learn a lot from. What are you doing to him? Allow these people to leave me alone. You say what? Allow these people to leave me alone. I talk. Okay. Leave him. How can these dirty people touch me? They are dirty. They are dirty, full of sin. I can enter them in your own. Can you hear the pride? Can you hear the pride? They are, you say they are dirty. Dirty. So yeah. they can't touch you. We finally meet. Eh? <laughs> you say we finally meet. We finally meet, son of Gilbert. <laughs> you say what? We finally meet. Allow these people to leave me. I'll possess them right now. You'll possess them. My God. Can you hear that? It's a very serious <laughs> issue. Look what he's doing. So you, you'll possess them. If I found that you have seen, I enter you. Leave me alone. St stand one place and talk. 
So you have got powers. You have got powers. Huh? Speak, speak. I want to hear. You have got powers. Allow this person to hear me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hold him, hold him. He will talk. There's no way. So you want to possess them. Allow this person to leave me. I'll speak of my own. Leave me. But you are failing to stand one place. I'll speak. Leave me. Are you able to stand one place? Leave me alone. Or I leave him. Let's hear. We finally meet again, son of Gilbert. Son of who? Huh? Gilbert, you mean me? <laughs> Son of Gilbert. So, what, what is your problem with Gilbert? He was saving me. He was saving you? Yes. Gilbert was saving you? Yes. So, who are you? I sit at the right hand of Satan. You sit at the right hand of Satan? Yes. So, how did, God, man. how did you enter this boy? I enter people that are light. People that are light, I enter them. You enter people that are what? Light. That are light. Yes, that will bring light to the world. People that were born with the light, I enter them. And what do you do to them? I manipulate them. You manipulate them. I manipulate them. Today I am fortified to manipulate this boy and manipulate this commission. I am here to bring destruction. You are here to do what? Today I'm here without no fear. To do what? <laughs> to kill you people. To kill people. <laughs> you think that this weather is here to play? I'm here to destroy you. I am fortified, not for this boy, but for all of you. You are fortified for everything. <laughs> yeah, it's a very serious thing. <laughs> so you are I'm an ancient beast. I am here to destroy people. I'm here to take people to hell. You're, that you're, is what I'm assigned for. You, you say you sit on the right side of Satan. Yes. And who are you? I'm Takunda. The ancient beast. You're, you're what? Takunda, the ancient beast. I'm hearing the name. I trail demons. Your name is what? Takunda, I trail demons. Takunda. I'm a proud man. My master is a proud man. You're, you're Takunda. Yes. Takunda. <laughs> The I am the ancient beast. You are the ancient beast. Yes. So you, you attack them. I destroy any minister of God. Any minister of God. Yes. I send the demons which I I send the demons which I try to manipulate pastors, ministers of God. So tell us what do you do to pastors? Number one, when you manipulate I them. them. Huh? I colonize them, I destroy them, and I manipulate them. They do not have chance. Any point which I see that you have sinned, I enter you and I do not play with you, son. You don't play? Yes. Mm. Pastors, you are hearing. So you, you call these things pastors? <laughs> they are not pastors. <laughs> these are not pastors. Is what? So you say, how many powers do you have? I don't have many powers. I own powers. You own powers. Yes. I manipulated Elijah. And I manipulated Jeremiah. Hey, leave me alone. Yeah. You say you manipulate Elijah. I manipulated him. How? I destroy people like Elijah. Oh, you destroy people like Elijah. Elijah, I destroyed him. Jeremiah destroyed him. What I want to do now? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Which God? Oh. Oh, my God. Which one? Satan is my God. He's my master. I'm, a, I'm proud. That is my master. You people are not proud. <laughs> Let me 
tell him. Okay. I'll do anything you, to me. You're a small boy. You say you're, you're a small boy. You're a duck. You're a small boy. 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 You can't do anything to me, small boy. You're a small boy. You're a small boy. You're a small boy. So that's how you manipulate pastors. You're a small boy. You can't do anything to me, small boy. So you say you are here for what? Remember the time you were in Israel? Yeah. You were very discouraged. I came to you <laughs> in the form of a lady. I came to you. You were very discouraged. You can't do anything to me. I'm a proud man. When I was in Israel, you sent the lady. Uh, I, remember, <laughs> I remember the story. <laughs> so you sent the lady when I was in Israel. My you were very discouraged. I'm going back to Israel uh, on the same. <laughs> and the same lady wants to follow me there. So you're the one who sent the lady. I sent her. To do what? To discourage you. <laughs> My agents are here. <laughs> yeah. It's shocking. <laughs> so your name is Dakunda. I am the ancient beast. Okay. I'm not just a, any demon. I don't just reveal secrets. I send my people here to manipulate you. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm spirit of water. I'm not that demon. I'm the most persistent demon. So you send... I train demons. I send them in this place. You send demons here to manipulate me. So they gave me a report. What is the report? Jeremiah, I don't have time for you. I'm here with the mission. And today I shall fulfill it. What is your mission? <sighs> to destroy people that are called. That is my mission. I know every loophole of everybody in this place. You hear that? Can we get anyone who wants to hear the loophole? <laughs> Come. Hey, look here. He said he wants to know the loophole, this one. I can't see this boy clear. Come here. Everybody is a boy here. <laughs> Go and pray. He said what? Jeremiah, don't bring young boys to me. I hear me. I'm here for a mission. And my agents are here today. We are about to spice up the battle. <laughs> they say, go and pray. <laughs> How many of you are learning something? You are learning something? Don't say there's no demons. You are, you are in danger. The day you see them in the last day, you are in trouble. They won't play with you. If you see the way this boy is angry, you can see it's not him. And look at the voice he's using. This voice was supposed to be going down. Is it not true? If you say, oh, 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 you can be tired. It's not true. So, <laughs> you are attacking everyone. I send my agents, yes. my demons, the one that I train. To manipulate them. You say you were sending them here. In the church. I will send them here. To do what? You know the last time. I sent my agent to speak. False accusation. False accusation <laughs> yes. of what? Of what? To manipulate everybody that is in this place. Prophets that are here. I will deal with them. I will deal with them. You can hear secrets. I will deal with them. You can hear secrets are about to come. <laughs> you, you can hear secrets it will come out now. You say you say, false accusation of one. Listen to that. I'm not just any demon to expose anything. 
I don't just speak anything. I mind my words. So you, you I'm not just telling you. You manipulate, you manipulate people. Yes. So where are your angels now? My agents are here. Your agents? Yes, they are here now. To do what? They are here. We are about to spice up the battle. Oh. Jesus is Lord. From this side. Eh? You say what's, what's wrong with Don't Antoine? play tricks on me. I'm an old man. I was here before the world was created. Don't you see the gray hair of my head? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I once met you in Botswana. You met me. Where is Eunice? Eunice knows me very well. I once visited a long time ago. And what, what was your mission when you visit my wife? Ah, you see what you're doing now. Allow these people to leave me. No one is holding Allow you. these people to leave me. Which one? The ones which are holding me. Yeah? The ones which are holding me. So people are holding you. People are holding me. Allow them to leave me. They are holding you. They are holding my hands. Allow them to leave me. So you can't do anything now. Fight them. Show me how you fight them. I'm still standing strong. I'm supposed to be falling down. Yeah? I'm still standing strong. They but can't do anything to me. They can't do anything. They can't do anything but to me. But they are holding you. How can an angel be anything to me? They can't do anything to me. But they are holding you. Uh, they are holding me just for just for yeah? control. They are holding you. Do anything to me. They will clap you. Uh. Clap him. Clap him. Clap him. Another one. They are clapping you. Clap him. More claps. Clap him. Another clap. Clap him. Let them press your stomach. Even Jesus is here. Jesus is here now. He's here. Don't say that. He's here. Jesus is here. Master is here. Jesus is My here. My master is here. Jesus. My is here. master is here. So show us, show us your master. My master is here. Jesus is here. My master is here. Me, me, many of you are going to be exposed today because after this one, I wanted to bring some people also to come and confess. As long as you are manipulated, you can't do anything to me. I'll touch you there. Jesus name. Jesus mighty name. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. I touch you the same place in Jesus name. You are defeated. All right. If you are facing the same thing, come and stand here you confess also. You can find you have been attacked by the you could see the pride. You could see the arrogance of the spirit. Can you just come now? We give you a chance to confess. Yes, did me, I'm the one of Lori. I was close with the, one of the prophets that was here. So it is true. The issue of pride is true because we've been praying together and then you find that you just look at the people head down because we know that we could pray some more than five hours to seven hours. And then we started to have pride because me, the pride started to enter to me because when I'm close to him, and then the pride entered me. And then I started to look people down. And then when times goes on, one day, I remember one day we were in the car, we were with him, and he started to expose the issue that if you sleep with a lady, you started to see vision clear. That I, I don't know that day what happened when he speak that things. 
He just when you sp sleep with ladies, that that you see vision clear. He told you that. Yeah, he told me that. And then we 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 are three in the car when he speak things like that. And then you say it's one of the prophet that was here. Yes. Those ones who rebel. Yes. So you can hear that. This one, you, you never told anybody. No. And then, did I say you must say what you are saying? No, no, no. So, now, were you sleeping around? No, me, I never done that because but, of the fear but, of the Lord that is in me. But he was saying if you sleep with the lady, you will prophesy more. Yeah, I, he speak things like you see things, details, everything in details after you sleep I'm with sure the lady. I'm sure you are not the only one who were told that. Yes, I was with uh, two brothers are uh, here. They can confess. The, they C can call confess them. them. Call them. Yeah, you can come. Hope and uh, Donald. And this is not to shame anyone. It's for their deliverance. Amen. Is it true? Yes, that is true, Daddy. What is it that you, which is true? Uh, actually, well, what, what my brother just said here. Yeah? Uh, one of the prophets who used to be here. We were in a car, and he, he, he told us that if you, you sleep with a lady and all those things, you will start to see visions, and you will prophesy in details and everything. How, how far were you affected because of that? When yeah, you start it, to hear that? It, it, it does affect you, because, I mean, you, you see this, this person is a, is a prophet. Uh, it's like when you, you, you go with him, when you meet other people that he doesn't even know, he, he'll, he'll start talking, like, their names and... Where, where they're coming from and everything like that. And it, it just makes you to, 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 to question everything. And, it, and then this, I'm saying it again. Did I say you must say what you're saying? No, 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 I didn't tell you. So, but this thing, you kept it yourself for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm even surprised my brother is uh, mentioning it now. And then, but you didn't want to say that, even yourself. No, no, no. Uh, it's something that I just, I just, I just, when I heard him saying, I just thought, no, this, this is probably an attack, and now I'm not going to take it. So, now this thing can really clear the name of my wife in the name of she hate prophets. My wife hate prophets. Now, this can really clear the name of my wife. My wife hate prophets. I mean, they were not the first prophets. We have got Prophet Ducha here, who can prophesy details. We've got Emmanuel, we've got many people here. But living your character might be telling us where you come from. I'm sure you understand that. And then after that, when you are not doing that, what happened? Daddy? When you are not doing that, where you, you were told like instruction or you were praying together when you were told that. Yeah, but when he was saying it, like uh, since he, he was one of the prophets, we were no longer praying together with him, but he was someone that we, we used to be close to. So whenever we come close to him, he'll start mentioning such things. And yeah. Come together to me. Come together, let me pray for you. Because I, I'm just... You know, most of you, you were told many things. And uh, when you are hearing from the people who are close there, who were told, if you want to prophesy, do one, two, three. You can hear them, well, where is the Spirit of God? But listen, this must not make you to judge. This must make you to channel your own life. Amen. I'm sure you understand that. I'll pray for you people, you'll be free in Amen. Jesus' name. Put a mic in him, the pride must go. What I do to him? Eh? What I do to him? Uh, uh, today, uh, it's like we are dealing with the past, with the present, future tense. I don't know, we can call it past, past participle. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You come, my brother. Come on. Come on. Come on, you fools. Come on, you wrong visions. Out. Out. The mighty name of Jesus. Out. Jesus.
Jesus mighty name. You are free. Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Charis TV. We are here in Charis Missionary Church. We're on the 2nd of May 2018, which was a Wednesday service. The man of God called out our brother and he said that he sent him an email and then he asked him to speak about what he has learned uh, with what was happening in his life. And today he is here to confess and to tell us what was happening with him and also encourage you viewers all over the world that are watching. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Tumi and I come from Tembisa. The man of God on a Wednesday, he called you out. Can you tell us the reason why the man of God called you out? Oh, the man of God called me out because I sent him an email um, two weeks back. Uh, saying that um, there's something which is happening in my life, which is I'm not living a right life. Well, the life which I was living, it was contrary to the word of God, because most of the time I'll feel sympathy for sin. I'll feel, uh, I'll have regard for sin in my heart. That was, that was happening in my life. And these things that you were doing, were you doing them alone? Yes, I was doing them alone, but influenced by association, other people. Well, my association was people that loved money. Secondly, was people that had pride and also anger, people which are arrogant. I saw that my life is not well, so I sent the man of God an email to tell him that, man of God, my life is not well. My spiritual life is dying out each and every day. So what I need from you is, I need deliverance. I need Jesus to deliver me from all the things which I was doing. So I saw that my life is not clean, is not clean at all. And can you explain to us in detail the things that were happening? Well, my prayer life was down. My spiritual life was down. Uh, looking at the subject of the message which I sent to the men of God was... Men of God, my spiritual life every day, daily, is dying out. So I need deliverance. I was associating myself with people that had pride, as I said, and also arrogant and people who loved money. So that thing flowed in me. So also I followed money. I also had pride and also arrogance. And what were the things that showed that those people had pride, and then you also mentioned the issue of anger. Can you explain to us? Well, the issue of anger, if somebody provokes me, it will be very, it, to me it will be, I don't know, but it will be easy for me to get angry. The moment when you provoke me, it will be easy to be angry. But uh, provoke, yes. And then the issue of loving money, how were you getting it? Well... I'm a forex trader. Well, I saw that thing taking my concentration and also my focus in the things of God. Most of the time, I'll focus on the computer and my smartphone. So that made me to move away from church and focus on, on, on it. So it affected my spiritual life negatively whereby I loved money so much and never even listened to what my spiritual father said in the church because I'll be holding my smartphone in the church. So by me doing that, it was more like rebellion or lack of submission. Yes. And for when did this whole thing started? It started early January. It started early January because looking at my family, nobody's working. It's only me who's working, who was working. But I left the job. After leaving the job, I started looking on things which can make me money. So I focused so much on that, those things. Then that's how uh, it affected my life. My prayer life went down, my spiritual life. Lack, lack of submission, pride started to arouse because I would make a lot of money whereby nobody could, could tell me anything. Yes. And these people that you've been associating with, are you still friends with them? No, I cut off my communication and my connection with them ever since last year, September, ever since the man of God prayed for me. 
yes, that's when I started to cut off my connection. But you can con you can disconnect yourself physically, but spiritually you're still connected. That's how it is. So I felt like I'm connected with them spiritually because those people would visit me in the dream and others will come and try to give me money in the dream. But somebody bigger will come and uh, pull their hand down. Yes, not to give me that money because I believe it was wrong money which I was being given to. Yes. And you mentioned the fact that uh, you disconnected yourself from them and this happened physically but spiritually you are still connected with them. Can you tell us the reason why you decided that no, these friends, I, they are not good for my life? Well, as a person, I looked at my life, I saw that I might fall in the same trap which they, they were doing, I might fall in the same trap. So my, pr my, my, my prayer was, Lord, I just want deliverance. I don't want to live the life which they are living. So me writing an email to the man of God, I believe that liberation will come. And you, you were doing a forex trade. And what is it that your friends were doing in order to get money? Well, they would get money in a wrong way. Um, they will get it in a wrong way whereby the men of God won't approve. They're doing contrary to what submission tells them to do. That's what I can say. So they were taking money in a wrong way, in a sense whereby they would want to meet somebody to prophesy to be prophesied to, then they get money from that person. They prophesy the person, then they give them money. That's how it happened. So can you explain to us uh the, the people that you were associating yourself with, you said that they would manipulate people to get money, and that was in the form of a prophecy. Yes, it was in the form of a prophecy. So they would want to prophesy that person. Actually, they would prophesy that person. And after that prophecy, they would just make a joke of saying, uh, just give uh, just seed here, yeah. just give me a seed, and what, what you must seed you, such kind of talks then that person will automatically just react. I believe it was some of, sort of like a manipulation. That's how it was. And when you've been witnessing all these things happening in front of you, how was that affecting you or how was it connecting you to them? Truly speaking, I was not affected because already I was, I can say I was out of grace. That's what I can say. I didn't even feel sympathy that I'm taking money from anybody. But, my, but inside of me, I would say, Aish, what would the man of God say if he hears about this? All of us, because we were, I think, four or five. Yes, because I was out of grace. I would, I would not feel any, any sympathy or pain when taking their money. So to me, it was a lovely thing because that money would use it and buy food and buy drinks and buy whatever that we wanted. To me, it was a good life. That was the life. To me, it was a very joyful life. I didn't even feel that I'm rebelling. That was, it was good. It was a good life for me. Yes. And for how long have you, this has been going on? Would you do it every day or just sometimes or when? We we'll do it daily because none of us was working there. So the only thing was what? Take money, enjoy it yes that's how it was and how did you come to a realization that uh you had fallen out of grace and your life it's no longer what god wants you to be okay it was a sunday i don't remember the date but it was a sunday a demon manifested here saying it wants to manipulate people and also it wants to make people to fornicate love money I realized, ah, so this is the kind of life which I saw there that time I was with these people. I was like to myself, you know what, I don't want to live such kind of a life. Let me just check my life and change. Because already this thing, I could feel it that this thing, if I'm not prayerful enough, it might happen. And if the man of God doesn't take special attention concerning this thing, I might find myself doing things which are not supposed to be done. <laughs> yes. And 
after the man of God called you on the 2nd of May 2018 on a Wednesday service and then he asked you what is it that you have learned can you tell us when you saw that demon manifesting what are the things that you picked up and the things that you have learned and the things that you came to realize uh, what I've learned that day is that I've learned that lack of submission is a painful thing ever because the more I regarded sin in my heart and also had sympathy in my heart. That is when uh, the vision of Charis Missionary Church started to become blurry. What do I mean about blurry? Like taking part or participating in things of here in church, they are no longer there, and also interceding for the church, uh, it was no longer there, and also taking words of wisdom from this place. It was no longer there. What I wanted was to make money and stay alone and be alone, just be alone and live my life. And we also witnessed that when the man of God prayed for you on the 2nd of May, which was a Wednesday, your demon was angry, like seriously, and it was furious. And then you mentioned the issue of anger, that you had anger. Can you tell us when you are angry, what is it that it would do? What is it that would happen with you? Uh, most of the time, uh, when I'm angry, I'll just say, it's like Satan has entered me. Uh, when I'm angry, okay, okay let's, look at, let's look at the issue of that demon speaking. Because I saw just a small, small clip, a small, small, just small clip, I just watched there. I realized that demon, that was the demon, actually it's a demon which uh, was dealing with me, so to say. That time I was young. So I can say I know that demon because it was tormenting me ever since I was young. It would come to me and try to give me things which I don't even understand. That's what the demon was doing. So above all, the anger part, I know it from a very young age that I'm a person who is full, of, who was full, let me not say full of anger, but who was full of anger. But thank God for my deliverance uh, on Wednesday. I was a person who was full of anger. Uh, if I'm angry, eesh, I don't understand. It's like Satan has entered me. And since that day, how have you been? Well, since that day, I. Since that day, it was a hectic day. I don't want to lie to you. The man of God prayed for me. Then after praying for me, I sat there. I was very weak and very empty. Uh, the, the whole of the service, I couldn't move, so I was walking slow. I went home. When I reached home, my body became numb. So it, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a serious thing where I couldn't walk, I couldn't move, I couldn't do anything after the deliverance. At night, the demon came to my dreams. I could hear the voice, I could hear its voice and it's anger, that it's very angry. So I was attacked also in the night. I was also attacked in the night. The following day, I could also hear the same voice of the demon speaking. Then I was attacked again. I can say the whole of this week I was attacked because of that demon. Uh, it was a painful experience, yes. And now that you've been delivered and you said that the issue of you loving money you were doing it through forex trade are you still doing that well on friday the man of god said i must come and do an interview well that thursday i told myself you know what i just wanna stop this kind of things and just come to church and submit because looking to this thing of forex trading, I was trading, I would make money, which I would support my family and also support myself, like feed myself. But ever since, because there was this other day, I was just working. Then a lady came to me. I don't know what happened. Then the demon started to confess, I'll make you to love money. This, 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 I was surprised. I was seriously surprised. Then another time, I was with another lady. She confessed the same thing again. 
that you want to make you to love money. This thing of Forex. I also have the records of it. I took record of it. You can also listen to it and see what's happening. I believe uh, this thing of Forex, I can't say it's satanic or anything, but it's something which is there to manipulate and also to make people to love money. Because I would make money, not something to play about, make money. Enough money to buy cars and houses. Yes. And as you said that you had disconnected yourself from your friends, but you were still connected in spirit with them. And there are other people I'm sure that also experience the same thing and they still don't understand what is happening with them, what is happening in their dreams, seeing the same people over and over again coming into their dreams and they are doing things that are not of God. What is it that you can say just to encourage them? What I, I can encourage them is for them to come forth, speak everything which is happening in their dreams or one, whatever that is happening to them. It might be seen, it might be whatever which is happening to them. They must just come and just ask the man of God for opportunity to speak out. Then I believe that God will surely uh, deliver them and show them the way. Because this thing of dreams, it comes in a simple way. That's what I've realized. It comes in a... I can say, let me just say stupid way. It comes in a stupid way. It will come in a form of, this is a person that I know. But this person will just come and give you money. You get me? That person will just come and give you money. The moment you take it, just know that uh, you are attacked. Secondly, it will be the issue of um, ladies that will come to your dream. Just know that, especially ladies that you know, they will come to your dream. Just know that... Uh, there's something wrong happening to you. It might uh, you are highly you are likely to have the spirit of lust or ladies following you. That's how it happens. Yes, because how they manipulated people. It will be in a simple way. These people, ladies, not that they will go to ladies, but ladies will come to them. So them seeing an opportunity of entering. So it will be. Uh, to them it will be a jackpot because them they don't fetch ladies ladies come to them then they manipulate them it's either you, you take your money or they sleep with you that's how it happens yes so I didn't want the same trap to fall on me that's why I wrote the email to the man of God pleading and say man of God please my spiritual life is dying out every day I need deliverance I need deliverance I need deliverance not that I was sleeping with ladies not that I was doing those funny things, but my pain was, Lord, I don't want to do those things. I don't want to fall under the same trap. After I had the, that demon confessing on Sunday, I told myself and said, no, I don't want to live such kind of life. What I need is, I need deliverance. I really need deliverance because I don't want to fall under the same trap. My pain was, Lord, I know that you are raising a, a mighty generation. Uh, I want to be part of it. What are the words of encouragement would you like to give to others that are still connected? As you said earlier on that you were disconnected physically but spiritually you were connected with these people and they would come into your dreams and then other people you find that they are dreaming this kind of things that you were dreaming but now you have received your deliverance what is it that you would like to say to them those that don't know that whatever is happening in their dreams is because they are still connected with these people spiritually well the issue of connection spiritually you might connect yourself disconnect yourself physically but spiritually you still connected how does it come i've realized that uh, it will come as a f in a form of another man of God that you are not submitting under. So, let me talk about myself. Uh, another man of God, actually different man of God, will come to me and try to offer me, it's either money or a mic. That's what they will come and try to give me. That's when I know that I'm connected with them somehow. Yes, that's how it was. The issue of dreams, somebody will come to you and offer you money in your dream. Just know that when that person comes and offers you money, you might be connected with that person spiritually. 
you might disconnect yourself physically, but spiritually you're still connected. So I've realized that I was connected with these people spiritually, and yet I disconnected myself physically because I deleted their numbers and also deleted the con everything that has to do with them. I deleted. But the shocking part was this. They would come to me physically, I mean spiritually, in, in, in a sense of it's either you offer me money or offer me Mike. That's when I started to realize that the habits of loving money and also pride are starting to arouse in me. So it was a it was a pain. Actually, let me not say it was, but it is a um, a painful experience because I'm not the only one who's facing this. I believe many ministers of God are uh, uh, are facing the same thing. Young ministers of God are facing the the same thing, because a man of God will come to you. And remember, you are submitting under somebody. So another, a different man of God will come to you and give you mic and also give you money. What does it tell you? So it's a question to many people. What does it tell you? So many people, the reason why they lack submission, it is because they, di they dream different man of God, giving them mic or giving them platform to prophesy or giving them mic to minister to other congregants or anyhow. So I believe that... Uh, Small, small of confusion came from there, whereby different men of God will come to my dreams, offer me mic and offer me money. So I would ask myself, uh -uh, so what does these people want to me? What do they want? Am I supposed to submit there or what? But I say to myself, no, I know where I come from and I know the vision which God has given to me 2010, even before I came to this commission. Uh, that's the reason why I'm still even here today, because many are manipulated, many are lied to because of these kind of dreams. Because if the enemy, if the devil does not find you physically, he will surely visit you spiritually in the dream. Because most of us, we take dreams lightly. That's what I've realized. We take dreams lightly. I can give you a small example, which can be... Uh, an eye-opener to people and also shocking to old people. But I'll just say, it. if you are a male, you are sleeping, and scientists, they call it wet dreams. But uh, as we do not call, the, call it that thing, we say it is a spiritual wife or a spiritual husband, isn't it? So if a male sleeps and finds himself wet and yet was having sex in the dream, and yet you are wet in the physical, what does it tell you? It tells you that dreams are real things. Dreams are so real. So you being given money, you are more likely to love money. Or maybe being given a mic, you'll start to have pride. Or uh, just acting in a funny way, just like them. The issue of ladies, they'll come to your dream. And just know that uh, if you you just start seeing ladies in your dream, you are more likely to have the spirit of lust. And you won't see it coming, or you won't see it in you, but you see them following you, because that's what I've been experiencing lately, because people will just follow me. And I know that there is a huge opportunity that I can manipulate them, of which, because they are just there for you, you know? But I told myself and said, ah, these people, why are they coming so heavily to me? I don't even understand. Is it a spirit of lust? Is it what? Remembering, going to my back to my dreams, I realized that there are many ladies which are coming to my dreams. Not that I sleep with them, but they come. They want to make friendship. They want to be my friends and whatever. But me, uh, I'm a loner. That's what I told myself. I am a person who is a loner. I'm a loner. So that's how many people in their dreams are manipulated. A lady will come to you. It's either sleep with you or just, just wants to walk with you. Uh, just know that you are more likely to have spirit of lust. Well, it's easy to spot a man of God who has pride. Because if truly you have a spirit of God, you are. it's easy. It won't even take you five minutes or two minutes to identify that man of God. If truly you have the spirit of God, you'll identify that this man is a man of God. This man is not a man of God. Because a man... Let me, not, let me not just say that, but what I've learned from Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, he said, if you are a man of God, 
you can't sleep with ladies. But if you call yourself a man of God and you're sleeping with ladies, you're not a man of God, you're a spiritualist. So a, a man of God sleeping with ladies, you're not a man of God, you're a spiritualist. Yes, that's how it is. Uh, so me identifying a man of God that he has pride and this one uh, can easily fall. I can identify you very quick. The way you talk, your words matter a lot. And also, I'm not saying those who wear Versace and loafers and all that, Zanotti loafers and all that, they have pride. But I can easily see that this one is falling under the trap of those people. Yes. Okay, so in all in all, what is it that you are actually encouraging them? The things that they are not supposed to do? Well, number one, submission is very important because when you submit, you are removing your vision and you're submitting in a, in a man who was given a, a vision, which I'm doing now. I'm submitting under my father. I want to stay under his covering. So what I can encourage people is submission is number one. It's, it's the key. Submission is the key. Because if you can look at the word submission, it's made up of two words. Sub, meaning subtraction, and mission, another man's uh, vision or mission. So you subtract your vision, uh, your vision for, for I mean your mission for his vision or your mission. Anyhow, you, you subtract it and you go to his vision and mission. You go to it. Because if you don't submit, uh, you will bring different visions in, in the commission. So that's what I can encourage people to submit and also humble yourself under the wings of your father. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also introduce the gentleman next to you. Okay, uh, my name is Donald, uh, and I'm from Ivory Park. This is my brother, Bethwell. Yeah. Uh, Sir, so today when the man of God was calling out people who are having challenges, who are having challenges with pride, lust, and ETC, as you are called, you came out. Can you please tell us what was really happening in your life? Uh, what I can say is... Really, the pride can catch you by the people that you are associated with. That's the best way the pride can catch you. Yeah, so you must be careful about the people that you keep close. Because usually as we have the desire to be used by God, when someone comes with some funny formulas to be used by God in a wrong way, you will end up taking it because of frustrated. So what is important is to stand on the truth. The words of God is the only key, and then live a righteousness life and holy life. That's, a, that's how you, you'll make it in life. But if Lori, it is very true because many people, they are prophesying well, they are, they are sleeping with ladies because that day I don't know what happened. One of my brother that was a prophet yeah, started to expose things like that. But if I was a person who uh, stranded and frustrated, I supposed to take that formula of him of sleeping around and do all these stuff. But by the grace of God, I learned a lot. Uh, on your side, he, he told us actually what he has learned from that situation and how is it, it affected him. And on your side, after one of the uh, prophets who were here uh, told you guys those things that they said to you, how did it affect you? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it affects you because uh, you, you, you need to understand that God is, is, is very gracious. He's a gracious God, and uh, when you see one of his servants, I mean, being used by God and, and everything, and he start telling you such things, you know, it, it, it kind of like make you like abuse grace in a way, you know. So, and that is just how it, 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 it will affect you as well. So you, you just think, okay. Maybe this thing is right, I can do it, anything like that, and God will still use me and everything like that. So in a way, the fear of God kind of like leave you, you see, knowing that, okay, our God is gracious, I will repent, and then the Bible says he will forgive my sins, and then all, you see. So, But it, it doesn't make you to, 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 to kind of like live a, a, a right life, because you know when you confess, the Bible does say us, God will forgive us our sins and will purify us from all unrighteousness, you see. So it's like now we confess, but still we are unrighteous, you know, so it's like we are kind of like contravening God in a way, you see. So it, it does affect you, it does affect you, and your, your faith and your salvation as well. And when the man of God was, you were with him there, you were speaking all these things, he came to you and he said, 
uh, did I pay you or did I ask you to say this? And I believe there are many people out there who are still having the unbelief. They think that maybe the man of God planted or, or planned all these things so that you guys can say it from you. Let's hear from you. Were you paid? Were you... What happened? What made you to stand up and say, I want to go there and alert these people of what is really happening? A uh, man of God did never pay to me because uh, for me to stand up, I want to help many people because there is a lot of deception. Actually, the devil is de deceiving people when it comes to the issue of prophetic because everyone desires to prophesy. But uh, you find that the devil is using even his spirit so that the people can be, they can be prophesy and all these things. So me, I just do it for the love of God and a uh, man of God never paid to me. I'm just speaking because of the truth that I have in me. Yeah, that's, that's what they usually the devil is doing, deceiving people, giving them money and them, all this stuff. So what is needed, we need to stand on the truth. And right now, after you have let it all out, how are you feeling? Yes, I'm feel, I'm feel, I'm feel relieved because uh, this the, the spirit usually it just comes. Usually you see that when God gave you grace to do what the people cannot do, that spirit is just developing, just you see yourself or oh, no higher in a way that is not there. So humbleness is very much important. Yes. And today as uh, you revealed the deepest secrets in your heart, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, well, I, f I feel free. I feel free. Though, I mean, this is something that I just thought to myself, I'll just bury it and then I'll leave it like that. But I mean, you know... Uh, no stone will, will, will be left unturned, you know, especially when it comes to the things of God, you know. So I, I feel free that, uh, in a way, someone is going to learn from this, you know. Uh, sleeping with a lady will never open your prophetic eyes. Sleeping with a lady will never uh, make you a great man or anything like that, okay. You are just being deceived. The enemy is deceiving you. Follow Jesus and the ways of the Lord and then you, you'll, be, you, you'll be right with God. What can you say to other people out there? every servant of God in general and as you're a son of Apostle I believe that there are many things that you're learning from our parents, Apostle JB and Dr. Eunice. What can you say to other people out there from the words that you always get from our spiritual parents? Um, well, it is, it is very important to, to, to understand the grace of God. Uh, like like I, I, was, I was saying, it is easy to, to abuse the grace, you know, because God, God is loving, you see, so you just need to understand the grace of God uh, when the grace has appeared unto you, the Bible says it teaches us to say no to unholy things. It teaches, it takes us away from the, the darkness and everything like that. Okay, so when you have the grace, make sure that you live uh, in this grace and you enjoy the, 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 the righteousness of, of, of God. And then you just always be in the, in, uh, right standing with God. Whatever that, that uh, is not uh, right in, in the Bible, just know that it is like that. And then try to, to, to walk away from it and live a right life with God. We give glory to Jesus for your lives. I believe that today, as the man of God has prayed for you, and as he always teaches us that everybody needs deliverance, I believe that today you got your deliverance, you are free, and I believe that this year, indeed, it shall be the year of your greater assignment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.